The conflict of Russia with the West is developing according to the worst scenario. Medvedev warns, Russia proceeds from the fact that all long-range weapons used by Kiev are already directly controlled by military personnel of NATO countries, said deputy head of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, in his Telegram channel. Russia proceeds from the fact that all long-range weapons used by former Ukraine are already directly controlled by military personnel of NATO countries. This is not military assistance, but participation in a war against us, and such actions of theirs may well become a casus belli, he wrote. Earlier, a representative of the U.S. State Department told Ria Novosti that U.S. President Joe Biden allowed Ukraine to use American weapons for counter-battery combat against targets in the Russian Federation that threatened the Kharkov area but left in force the ban on the use of ATA CMS operational tactical missiles and other long-range fire weapons. Western politicians may miscalculate the issue of Russia's use of tactical nuclear weapons and there is strategic potential for enemy countries that are further than the coverage area of tactical nuclear weapons, said Dmitry Medvedev. Medvedev noted in his publication that several years ago Western politicians said that Russia would not enter into an open military conflict with Ukraine so as not to quarrel with the West, but they miscalculated. They can also miscalculate with the use of tactical nuclear weapons, although this would be a fatal mistake. After all, as the Russian president rightly noted, European countries have a very high population density. And for those enemy countries whose lands are further than the coverage area of tactical nuclear weapons, there is, finally, a strategic potential, wrote Medvedev. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that they are trying to tell us that the United States and NATO would stop at nothing in Ukraine. Nevertheless, we hope that the Russian-Belarusian drills on the use of non-strategic nuclear weapons that are underway now will knock some sense into our opponents by reminding them about the catastrophic consequences of further nuclear escalation. He added, Medvedev told that the military conflict with the West is developing according to the worst scenario, there is a constant escalation of the power of applicable NATO weapons, so no one can exclude the transition of the conflict with the West to its final stage. The current military conflict with the West is developing according to the worst scenario. There is a constant escalation in the power of applicable NATO weapons, and therefore no one today can exclude the transition of the conflict to its final stage, Medvedev wrote. He said that individual assistance from NATO countries to Kiev against Russia is a serious escalation of the conflict. Such individual assistance from NATO countries against Russia, be it controlling their long-range cruise missiles or sending a contingent of troops to Ukraine, is a serious escalation of the conflict, he wrote. Medvedev believes that, in all likelihood, the NATO leadership wants to pretend that we are talking about sovereign decisions of individual countries of the North Atlantic Alliance to support the Kiev regime.